Good evening. Who likes Hewlett Packard calculators? I do. I just love their design. Their yeah, anyway. Uh, I thought I might do a kind of a coming up video because I know I've got a lot of things, or well, not a lot of things, but a few things on the go. And I guess some people get disappointed because they wanted to see something finished. Problem is I'll start something and it's like, okay, I need this part, I need that part. And depending on where I get it from, uh, it takes a while. So, um, for example, my Moldovan, Moldavian bike computer, that hasn't been forgotten. It's still in progress. I just got some 7-pin DIN plugs. So I can make a proper AV cable. And I finally tracked down the um, type of plug that goes on the GBS8200 here. It's an RGBS plug or cable. Um, the problem is they come from China, so that could be a month. So um, I've also got new old stock RAM, um, Soviet RAM. That's coming from Ukraine. And obviously... There's difficulties there at the moment because of the Russians. Um, I, I don't care about the RAM or whatever. It's, you know, I'd much rather people be safe. Um, so that gets here when it gets here. So that's that's another little hold up there. So that's what's happening with the Moldavian bite. Um, I was just going to talk about these HP calculators, but now I'm going off. And um, I'm going to do a separate video. So I'm thinking with the IBM portable PC power supply, I might just not touch it. <laughs> it looks okay. And I don't want to get into a state where I start swapping capacitors. And Anyway, whatever. So this video is about these. So um, I've got three. Basically, these are in pieces at the moment. But three of these um, Hewlett Packard 71B kind of mini computers. This is the most complete one, but it's not working. Um, it's got the um, magnetic strip, magnetic stripe reader. So you, you store your programs on these magnetic um, strips. Uh, blank card pack, actually. And they just run through there, or they run through that way. No, I think they run through that way. Um, so that's got that. Um, it's got a HP IL interface. It's got a couple of, it's got 32K RAM expansion. It's got the math pack. It's got the uh, fourth assembler and another 4K memory module. Yeah, okay, 36K. So this is the most complete one I've got, but it ain't uh, me, it doesn't work. So I want to pull it apart. I think I might have had it apart before. And it's one of these ones where the keyboard is plastic melted together so if you want to get it apart you have to anyway whatever um so, so i've got that i've got a, a printer for it hpil interface um for it and also a um digital cassette um storage device for it as well and of course the mini little what's the type of these i'm not sure what these ones are called hewlett packard mini data cassettes so yeah, so I want to get this working, working with this and all that, but, you know, I've got several other things that people are probably waiting for me to finish off. So this is kind of a, a coming up. So this will be um, a coming soon episode, maybe. Um, just thought I'd, I'd show that. I've got I've got other bits and pieces I want to get. I've got a Coco 2 I want to get done. I've got a couple of Dragon Datas. I want to... Dragon 32s I want to get done. A couple of Amstro PPC 640s. I've got this Commodore 128, um, 128 DCR and a compact luggable 286. I've got to finish off these Enterprises and I've got, I don't, I won't get started on all the TI 994As I've got. So, anyway, this was supposed to be just, uh, um, if you're interested in Hewlett Packard calculators, I'll probably be pulling one apart or several apart trying to get it to fix, uh, to work. No guarantees. I've also got um, an interesting range of HP41 calculators and peripherals. So that would be another one. Anyway, let me stop this and I'll get back onto the...
power supply. So anyway, maybe this whets your appetite, don't know. Bye for now.